begins in zero seconds. 93 people have joined. D V E D E V. Seeing proper. So legacy, mono black depths, painter, mono black depths. It's looking likely to be mono black depths. It's certainly looking like they're not going to be interacting. So that's a good thing. We won, won the die roll. Um, I mean, this hand is fine, but I think we can do better. Yeah, let's try and do better. This hand is fantastic. <clears throat> Three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can leave a uh, Grim Monolith untapped too. I like this. So we're going to bottom Burning Wish. We're going to go Monolith. We're going to go Monolith. We're going to go Mox Opal. This dodges discard too. And then Mox Opal. Now we have a relay for five, untapping with six mana. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Hmm. Could be better hits, but it's not, not the worst. It's looking like... I don't know, maybe they're double queuing or something. Which obviously is not the greatest for content purposes, but we will come right back to it. So we'll talk about the list a little bit. Take this opportunity to basically do a, a short deck tech. Um, so we've moved into Overmaster. We've come off of uh, Reckless Impulse. I have been actively looking for a replacement for Reckless Impulse. I haven't been happy enough with it. It just feels like like a glorified uh, redraw, basically. Oh, they're doing something. Expedition map. Off of Ancient Tomb? Needle. Probably on Horn. Okay. So that's actually pretty good. We really want to... Oh, they named Grimonolith. Okay. So now we probably are going Horn. So we drop Horn. And then we pitch the grid. Because otherwise, all we have is one redraw because we didn't draw action, which is fine. So we'll go horn. We'll see what's underneath this grid before we decide if we want to play this land or not. We might be overmastering off of the pedal. We'll see. Yeah, because we're probably going to want to play this City of Traders as a land drop. Well, I guess not necessarily... Maybe I do want to play the smashing. Smashing, because if we hit one, two, three, if we hit gamble, we're going to wish we played the smashing. Hmm. I guess we don't need to decide right now, right? Yeah, we don't have to decide yet. So we can use this pedal, and if we really need the... Uh, um. We can overmaster here. We'll see what's underneath this and probably what's underneath the card that we draw. We're very likely to just win the game here. Okay. So one, two, three, four. I think we're better off playing city. Yeah. So you play pedal. Uh, I guess once again we don't have to make that decision yet. I don't know why I keep thinking that we do have to make that decision, but all we gotta do is hit a pedal opal. <clears throat> Cha Ching. We hit another burning wish too. Oh boy. Hey Burn Zeitler. How you doing? So let's play a grid. Alright. 
They're moving on. Hmm. So it's almost definitely mono black depths. I guess it could be painter, right? They do have, although they usually don't play a main deck needle. I don't think it's more likely just mono black depths because they're going to be playing multiple needle. Yeah. Map needle. Only a couple ancient tombs though. We have two more on the board. So it looks like they'll be boarding into ley line. Probably Helm, but that's it really. Doesn't look like they play Karn. There's a, a bunch of discard, a couple Plague Engineers. Empty wouldn't be a terrible plan, but I don't love it. Obviously, we could just get wrecked by that. So we just want bounce spells, and I guess there's Opposition Agent. Opposition agent, so I guess like a grid is fine. It's not like the worst card. Hmm. It's a reasonable hand. I mean, they're on seven. Honestly, I think I keep this. Because it doesn't really care about ley line. We can play to the board and just hope to draw action. We don't want to see discard because we want to put this Grim Monolith into play. Needle's fine. I'm sure they name Horn this time. Yeah. That's fine. Hmm. So we don't have a blue source to be able to... I think we're supposed to play Bergy and just get some permanence into play. It's unfortunate. We could just play Horn and hope to draw a blue source to bounce. I don't love that though. Could also just Grim Monolith pass. I don't hate that. Still don't really love it though. No, I'm gonna play Bergy. I'm gonna play Bergy and just pass. Because everything else is a little bit awkward. Like we could blow some Rite of Flames, get Grim Monolith into play as well. But I think that pretty much entails spewing this Shatter Skull, which can actually be quite useful in this matchup as removal. So if they go to discard us, they'll see problematic cards, right? Like, it'll be a tough choice between Echoing Truth, which can get us out of whatever we need to get out of, or Monolith, which can just power through a lot of stuff, putting a ton of mana on board, and then this can remove things, so... <clears throat> like, Grim Monolith Pass is reasonable, because if we draw any blue card, or Opal, or Petal... We can make use of this Echoing Truth, but I just, I don't want this to get discarded. They have eight discard spells. I don't think they would play Needle over a discard spell, so I don't think they have a discard spell in their hand. But they're definitely very likely to draw one, right? And it's not impossible that they did this instead. Yep. They only have four cards in hand. We're gonna hit our Echoing Truth. Saga. Ritual. Okay. That's not a big deal. They only have one card in hand. They named Goblin. Reasonable. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to wait. Like, if they don't have another mana source, that's really good for us because they can't make tokens. If they do, we're going to want to save this. So, I guess I just play Grim Monolith, right? Don't have to take two damage, thanks to Urborg. Yeah. Seems solid. 
I think we're in a fine position here. Like, it, it's not spectacular, but they're just so low on resources. I mean, they've kind of put us into a corner, obviously. That's the, the downside of block pieces, right? You don't have much for action. But Saga can really supplement that. We'll see if they have another mana source. If they don't, they'll, like, they're eventually going to get it, right? Because worst case, they get map, and then they just go for it again. Okay, so they just have a map. Or they opted to cast the map instead of make a construct. They can make one next turn. All right, we're really <laughs> wanting to hit some action, you know? Um, so I guess they're going to be making a 2020 next turn. So we're going to have one more draw. So I'm going to put LED into play. And pass the turn. <clears throat> now they're probably going to go get Dark Depths. Put me on one more draw. Burning Wish wins the game. Gamble gives us a 75% chance to win the game. Wish wins the game. Um, what do they get? Mox Opal here? Do they play any Opals or Petals? They don't. So they get another Needle or another Map? Another Needle. It's a reasonable name. Double up on it. Make it 2020. Pass the turn. Okay. What do we got? Anything? No. No, we do not. Yeah, I guess we scoop to the dress. Game three it is. We're certainly favored. Even on the draw, we're favored, but now we are more heavily favored. I guess I should just be playing the Shattering Spring instead of the defense grid, right? For sure. Not that we drew, well, yeah, not that we drew our defense grid, so it didn't matter there, but we should definitely be playing this. We have a second copy to bring in. So we want a turn one pier so we can ignore ley line. Oh man, did we get it? One, two, three, four, seven. It's close. Certainly close. We're going to keep. They're not always going to have ley line, right? Like if they have heavy discard and no ley line, they might keep it. They do have it on a seven card hand. So now we have a choice here. Like we can go monolith pass, hope they don't have discard and just have a turn two peer. Which honestly is probably the best play here. Oh wait, we don't even, we can't even cast this burning wish anyways. So what am I talking about? So we have no imprint on this. Yeah, okay. Play out our LED. Can't discard this. And next turn. We don't have to, like, we can hold the rest of this. Hopefully no discard, because then we just win. But even if they have discard, we're still set up to just win anytime we draw a wish. <clears throat> Hopefully they do something like turn one opposition agent. Oh my god, they're passing. That's what it is. They're holding up Dark Ritual Op Agent, I guarantee you. We drew a burning wish anyways. Oh, man. Sometimes you just get them. I guess we should have played around Trap, huh? Because we could have. We had 3, 4, 7, 2, 3, 6, 9. We just had a, a, a peer through Trap. Now we don't, but that's okay. Hopefully. <laughs> this does not care about opposition agent.
Play Bergy. LED. LED. This ley line is annoying me. <laughs> see ya. Let's see. Yeah, we can always just horn if we need to. So what I'm going to do is gamble for wish. Discard overmaster. Perfect. And we will wish. And then we will play defense grid. And then we will kill them. Burning Wish. Yeah, we'll just go get Tendies. Got him. Easy game. Well, wasn't that easy, but. Bing, Blang, Plow. Pioneer, Vintage. Last played Legacy in May. They were on. Oh, Gitaxian Probe, so May of <laughs> 2015. So they're probably back in Legacy just to play some Ad Nauseam Tendrils. That is my my guess. This hand is medium. Like, it plays. It's not, not all that well. I'm going to mull it. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, seven... Yeah, we'll do this. Hopefully no discard, just cantrip. Just cast the preordain so that we know that you're... That's a planes. Planes vial, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. We're okay with that. One, two, three, four, five, eight. So we're one shy of peer. So we're just going to make a bunch of goblins. They can't, they can't beat this many goblins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen goblins. Yeah. Do I want to blow LED or oh, I have to? Scooping it up. Or is it lagging? Nope, it's just lagging. <laughs> Chicken attack. Chicken attack. Beat that, nerd. I feel like they should do a better job of, like, showing that this is revealed. I oftentimes miss it. Like, there I was trying to figure out what they were on, hoping they were on ad nauseum tendrils, and this had been revealed. It comes up over here, and then what, the little no notification over here? I don't think that's enough. So you go for batter skull. Too little, too late. For 16 goblins. Does it make a difference if they have a one drop? I don't think so. I suppose. Am I supposed to untap my Grim Monolith? No. Because then I come off Metalcraft. You are at 5 OP. You can block one of them with your thing. Possibly two if you have a creature. And you gain four. So preventing six out of my 15. I still take nine. Suppose you could also have a the swords creature. I literally can never remember what that card's name is. Alright, so we got him. So DNT. Let's see. DNT, let's see. <laughs> uh on the play I think I just empty them on the draw. It's tricky. Because when you bring them in, odds are we're not gonna be emptying for like sixteen like that. It's probably gonna be more like eight or ten. Uh, in which case you need them turn one, not turn one on the draw. They can beat that with a stone forge. So yeah, we just want our bounce spells. I think I still want maybe two grids. I could just 
Take out one of these overmasters. This is not going to cut it. So they mold the five. I think I keep this. Take him off the grid. He's off the grid. He's unhinged. I don't love this hand. But it plays. Okay. Yep. Paddle is more important, but I don't want to decide what to imprint with Chrome Box yet, so I'll run it out. No pending is good. No land drop is good. Light of Flame is good. So now we have a choice to make here. I'm gonna imprint Bergy. So we bounce at EOT, and then we make goblins. So they don't have another land. And they're gonna be a turn behind putting Stoneforge Batter Skull in. Twelve goblins should be able to get there from here. <sighs> Maybe not. Did I count that wrong? I guess we play that. They take 11. I have it. Shit. They take 11, they go to 9. Yeah. Didn't really have a choice, though, to be honest. Like, you can relay there, but then you gotta hope to draw into another bounce spell and a win. And six. Yeah, we're in trouble. I guess the other option is just waiting around more on that echoing truth.
Chris Chisant. Chris Chisant. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. And then a recruiter. They take nine, they gain four. Yep. Now they get to gain four more. And go up to eight. A losing battle for sure here. So we have to draw what burning wish so that we can shattering spree following turn. But they're gonna start getting way ahead. So we got these recruiters solitudes. Yeah, I mean we'll move on. Game three. The only other option there was waiting. Waiting until we drew more cards, then bouncing, and then killing them. But th things tend to get worse, not better, over time against DNT. I think the best play there was to make the goblins. Hope they don't have the, um, the batter skull. Um, okay, so are we still looking to empty them out, though? That's the question. We'd have to turn one, empty them. Let's try it. I just my worry is that they have a lot of hate because there's been a lot of storm. So even more so than normal, we just gotta close the game out. I mean <clears throat> not gonna shy away from this. You got the thing, you got the thing. Cause I got the thing. Vindicator 1985, thank you for the subscription. Thank you so much. Oh, you know why that's so much louder and it's not getting lower when I change change the volume? Because the subscriber is hooked up to a different thing than my uh, my hotkeys here, my soundboard. So if we play City Petal Bergy, we can't get the Grim Monolith out there, so we might as well Monolith and Petal. Then Bergy. They could have a Solitude, but willing to take that risk. If they do, I'm still going. They do have solitude. They let me get an extra mana from uh, off this echo, though. They were too late on that one. So now we get to echo with three mana going here. It's pretty good. Not going to complain about this one. No guarantee that it gets there, but pretty, pretty good here. We definitely want to see one of our two bounce spells. Okay, we did. That drastically increases the chances that this gets there. Like, nothing does it here for them. Unless they have, like, the deafening silence and lots of traps. Really enjoy your channel. One notch, five o and four o. With what is one notch? Went one a five o and four o with your deck. Last two local F and M's. Wow! So you just been stomping with it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love to hear it. Yeah, I just four o'd my F and M on Friday. On Friday, what other day would F and M be? Hmm. So that gives us access to grid, which is pretty sweet. But of course, we do have to bounce this first. And then 
we fight a flame. Then we can ancient tomb. So it's, uh, they didn't have a trap, right? They could have drawn one. So if it is free to play around, we should. We do obviously have a peer here. So our options are like wish, grid, Bergy, play some stuff, horn, overmaster. But that is not very high chance of getting there. So I think we're supposed to just hope they don't have solitudes. For Bergies, we got to use this for action. Um, yeah, hopefully no solitude here. Sweet. Now we can horn. Let's get horny. And I appreciate the subscription. Welcome to uh, the casino here. You're officially a degenerate gambler. Oh, look at that. There's a grid right there. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> There's Grim Monolith. And we win. Sweet. Um, yeah, we'll just cast it. Probably scoop to it. Wish a wish a wish a wish. -a. They messaged us. Probably just saying GGs. And they said nice. And we got him. All right. Two and oh. Just yesterday, 6 18 2022. Looks like mono black. Love it. Do not mind this matchup if that is indeed what they're on. This is so close. Hey, Rick. I am. Hope you are too. Uh, we're going to mull this, unfortunately. This is close. It's one shy, right? Like you go Spear Guide, Right of Flame, Monolith. You have three. Then you have to play Grid to get Opal active, and you only have two, and you can't relay. Otherwise, this would be fine. We're going to mull it. This we'll keep. And we're just going to go. We are just going to go, go, go. And I guess we just want to increase Storm. Do we want to play out our Shatter Skull? I think I do. Whoa. Can't tap one of these, so. And if they're on a blue deck today and they get the force, then they got it. A. And we got some gas here. I think we just have a horn, right? So we have one. This will be two, three, four, five. We have one shy. And either way, I'm doing this. One, two, three, four, five. Horn, LED, and then we're one shy of cast and gamble. That's fine. So we're going to go Bergy into, into Echo. Um, that doesn't matter. So Grim Monolith. Play the Berg, LED, and go for the Gamble, and I'll blow the LED. Doesn't feel great, but that's what I'm doing. So now we have Horn. So we go LED to get back up to five mana. 
Then we go horn. We can probably even find enough mana to grid here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, look out. Look out. Let's see if this one resolves. It does. Uh, even if we flip our echo, it doesn't matter. We can still cast it, so we're safe to just do this. Might as well cast Overmaster. Do this. Okay. We'll get the last echo. That will certainly win us the game. Red Storm 16, so we don't even need black now. Might as well just make some more blue. Got plenty of mana out there. Out here, anyways. Might as well cycle this. Mm. Get rid of all this mana. That's a gamble. Might as well cast this right now while we still have cards in our hand. Probably just win on the spot. Yep. Good burning wish. And. Get him with the grapes. We don't currently have Reforge the Soul on our deck, otherwise I'd be trying to uh, do it so that we could see their hand. But, I mean, they just 5-0'd yesterday. They clearly had no interaction. So I, I'm going to treat it as though. Alright, so we're going to go all grids out, play Spree, and our bounce spells. And so what we're looking for, like last time we kept a hand, last time we had played this matchup in this position, and what, I think we wound up losing that game, but it was close. We kept like mana and a bounce spell, or was that game three and we won it? I don't know. But a hand like that is fine. The like ideal hand is a Bergy into like mana rocks and relay um, that is also resistant to discard. Uh, hmm. This is super close. I think it's good enough to keep. We need mana because there are only two mana to cast Grimonolith, our, our only colored sources. But I do like this. I don't love it. It's definitely good enough to keep, though. Because, yes, they have no interaction, but you have to worry about Ley Line of the Void, so you can't just mull to like, some Echo Hand. Looks like they didn't have it. They're probably going to discard us. They probably take the relay. But we're not just, like, dead in the water here. We still have a lot of good draws, especially seeing that they don't have Ley Line. <clears throat> so now if we draw, like, Gamble, Burning Wish, Echo, we have a redraw. Another relay, if they take that, won't be the worst. We will have to pass if that's the case. And this Void Snare isn't the worst either, right? Like if this game does drag on, we might make use of this. Bounce like a Dothy Voidwalker or something. Interesting. Respectable. Risky. Certainly interesting. Um, I think we just pass. That would have been such a good draw. Yeah, I don't think it's worth cycling this. Like, play a Dothy Voidwalker, I don't care. Okay. So now that they took that, they probably want to stay on the same course here and take a pedal. Thing is, if we draw Soul Land, like, they're probably screwed. And you have six of them in our deck. Or just an Echo, right? <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm fine with just going here. So one, two, three, four, five, eight. We are one shy of a peer, but I think we have lethal. Because uh, we have storm three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're at 18. One, two, three, four, five on top of our three is eight. And then tendrils is, yeah, they're dead.
Play against Mono Black all day. <laughs> nice shot. Got him. Um, they on Wasteland. Uh, half protection, half action. Uh, the card feels a lot more than one card. Hmm. So 50-50 is, I'd say, disingenuous for the card. I'd say it's more than 50% action and more than 50% protection <laughs> to, you know, uh, to make it not make sense. But you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Um, wait, what, what the fuck was I, oh, Wasteland. There's no Wasteland. So I think I'm fine with keeping this and just cantripping over Master. It's either that or play out Monolith. Oh, they do have Discard. I forgot about that. But not much. I don't really know where the hand's going. But there's a lot of, there's too many draws that make this hand just fine. And they, if they have a force, they might even feel pressured to just force the Overmaster. And hell, if we hit an LED, then, and they don't force it, we're good. Okay, so they didn't. It hit mana. That's fine. So next turn, we'll probably go Grim Monolith Pass. We'll see what they're up to here, though. Delta. Thought Seize, yep. If I were them, I would take Grim Monolith. I took the Burning Wish. Hmm. That's a grid. Interesting. So I'm going to play out this pedal. Play a Monolith. Do I have to first cycling or first sack LED? What do you mean? Brainstorm. So we still don't know what they're on. Could be either. I'm going to bet Phoenix. But the fact that they took Burning Wish has me think maybe ad nauseum. Hmm. They're locked. LED would be great. Any blue source would be great. That's interesting. Three, four, five. Three, five. Hmm. We do have a grid into 50 50 chance echo. I think we just play grid here, though. Off of the spirit guide. <sighs> hmm. Days would be obnoxious, though. Days will make me wish I used the Grim Monolith to cast it. But I don't want to do that. Force, okay. So we know they're on Phoenix. I would imagine they're shuffling. Unless they find like a fetch land, which they did. Could try to echo, but I think that'd be ill advised. Like, they can't kill us in one turn, right? Well, I suppose it's possible with, um... <laughs> no, not this turn, though. They'd have to, like, play a bunch of birds and bolt us a bunch. So there is a shredder. That's... Three, six, three, two, five. So we're one shy of having 
a two-thirds chance double echo. If I could play through days, I would cast an echo. Although at this point, we might. I'm so screwed if if they have days though. We could also just choose to play around or attempt to play around days by wish gamble. Hopefully hit LED. Lose to a force, but not a daze. Is that better than waiting? I don't think it gets much better. Because they're going to untap. And they're going to see a lot of cards. They're probably going to put some birds on us and make us go for it in a worse position. So I'm going to go wish. I mean, if the gamble misses, it misses, right? It's whatever. Sure. What it also does, as long as it doesn't miss, is puts the other echo in our yard so that we're not just dead off the draw. Dirk the Based Lad. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. So there's a Phoenix. We hit. And are we spinning? We are not spinning. Okay. So, and this is what I mean. Now, at least we have an Echo. We have two mana. Like, we have draws. They pitched a Daze, so they did have Daze. So frontside Echo would have gotten wrecked. There's no bird. It's a gamble. Interesting. Try to 50 50 for an LED next turn. Brainstorm. So they're on four cards. They've cast one spell, another spell. So Phoenix is not coming back, but they're shredding. They just discard a Force of Will? They did. I don't get it. Huh. It's another echo. Um, so again, I don't think it's getting better. We're going to try for this 50-50. We miss. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We did not. Shred it up, bruh. I mean, maybe they don't have another blue card, but you got to figure, like, I don't know. That's weird. you got to figure you'll be able to draw into another blue card, right? I guess not. Come on, baby. Do they just have yet another force? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So still, we're not completely out of it. They do have four forces in their yard. <laughs> we're not quite dead yet. We have one more draw. We have two cards. They could have a daze. LED? Monolith? Not good enough. Okay. We lose game one. It's a lot of force of wills and a thought sees. Um, I think I want to race them on the play. Yep. Just make them have it. is not good enough this is fine hmm I think I want to hold on to this city grid. I'd probably force it. 
Yep. Pitching Shredder. This panel into play. They did F6. Pass. That's an LED. Two, four, five, eight. LED is in. Three, four, five, eight. So you can threaten double echo here. Don't think I'll need double blues. I'm not going to tap this yet. Can't imagine they have double interaction after F6ing after that first force of will. They could. They could have a fluster and a daze, right? Certainly possible. Name a more iconic duo. You can't. You just can't. And a surgical. Yeah, I was worried about that too. Okay. I mean, sometimes they have it all. Force, fluster, and surgical. Pretty brutal. Suppose we had the option of just echoing. Maybe that was actually smarter in retrospect. So we knew they didn't have another force because they F6'd. Hmm. Well, that's weird. Why would you F6 if you had surgical? They probably didn't. They probably drew that. So now we have to find like mana and empty. So they're locked. That one I'll play. Hmm. They're gonna surgical themselves to fl uh, shuffle. And they hit a land, of course. Um, sure. I would not mind a horn. They're getting pretty close to hard cast bird. Got him. We take four and we go to ten. Pretty much leave ourselves dead to uh, to three birds. So we're supposed to tap monolith. I don't think so. They might just make us with a daze, anyways. I'm sorry, we go to twelve. I don't know why I was saying ten. Tell me you have the one of petty theft here. Oh, oppo agent, okay. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> uh, is this for a bird? Buried alive? Oh boy, we're dead. Nice play. Oh boy. I'd take this all day against Delver. She's got a ton of mana. They're on seven. Plays really well around like any sort of permission stuff. It just has no action. Oh, I guess it doesn't have protection. So if, if, if he were to not counter any of my mana, we'd be, uh, We'd be pretty screwed, and even if we drop protection, we have no action. So I think we do have to mull this. This is certainly better. Okay. I lied. I did grab a bang. I'm gonna drink some of it. That wasn't bad. <clears throat> we can echo through days, but not force. 
then we will have enough mana to echo next turn if they force it. Pretty sure, yeah, he's still on the whole four days thing. Excuse me. So I think we go right now. Problem becomes if this doesn't resolve. Okay, once you make blue with that one, it kind of tips your your hand as to what you're up to. Um, we want them to daze, but at the same time we want to use this beforehand. Because if they don't daze, I'm not going to use it. I think he has daze. We really want them to pick up their land. Are you kidding me? To force a negation. So they are on... <laughs> he's on something that uh, he hasn't been on in forever. Ah, oh, there's a noodle! See, this is what I'm talking about. There's got to be a bigger thing. Fuck. I mean, I, I think I still would have made the same play, but it really pisses me off that there's not something more... Um, then just like it pops up over here and a little thing pops up and then he's going to drop a collector. It's like, are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> That's, uh, all sorts of frustrating. Yeah, I just, I had, uh, again, I don't think my play would have been different, but I had no idea that there was Iori involved. I mean, shame on me for not looking over here, but I still think, uh, doesn't really help. Um, I still think they don't give you a, a big enough notification at all for a companion. This matchup doesn't really exist, but it is. When people ask me what's your worst matchup, this is one of them. Because they have forces and collector oof. By the plenty. Okay, I think we're supposed to empty this deck, right? I think it's our most reasonable chance of dealing with it. We don't really have sweepers. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be on the empty plan. I'm not messing around with bounce spells. Never seen them on a deck like this. Hmm. This hand is good. I was hoping for just like an easy empty hand, but I don't think we can pass this up. Excuse me. Question is how do we want to play it? We could just relay for three. They're on seven. We could just play this pass. They're on wastelands, though. We just play Bergy pass, but then that uses up a lot of our storm for the relay. Problem is, relay for three is not that great, especially if they wasteland us. I think I go Shadow Scope pass. The hammer pass. Wasteland, unless they're crop rotting into a wasteland. Abundant growth, okay. That's pretty good. That resolves. 
That resolves. Promox resolves. Wow. Okay. So. Does Burning Wish resolve? I want to get a forest, right? Wow. Okay. Wow. Wishing I had an Overmaster in my board. So, probably the best play is just Void Snare. Should we even just put a Void Snare in our hand? Although that doesn't help against Collector Oof. Probably gonna have to deal with a permanent here though. Like we can go Void Snare, bounce our Chrome Mox, replay Chrome Mox, that's five, six, and then relay for seven. But then that takes us off a of two mana, or we can just We're getting taken off of one either way. Or we put Grape Shot in our hand and just relay for five. So we can kill whatever creature they put into play. I don't think I love that. I think I'm going to Void Snare. Ooh. <laughs> I'm almost not tapping it. It's a close one. Okay, bunch of mana, double burning wish. There's definitely some problems that they could put on board, but I think we have a lot of them covered. Yep. That's pretty good. Okay. So now we get to grape shot. Going to put four copies on this collector roof. Excuse me. Now we get to go empty into Burning Wish Gamble for Echo. Could Relay. I don't think that's right though. That is our third Burning Wish. Ooh. In fact, three, six, seven, eight. If we wish, it puts a wish in our deck we wish we go to six empty we go to three and we'll still have enough three is the amount that we need three six seven eight wish we go to six empty we go to three post the wish we cast gamble We're still at three and then we echo that's the play because otherwise we only have one wish left in our deck Wish. Now we empty. Tap this red so we can F6. Make sure yields are back off. Cast and gamble. Yield back to the Bergie. 
Not go. And a ginormous relay. So I like that. <laughs> I, th I think I think I want to hold on to this void snare because if within this relay there's a volcanic island, we can make use of it. So let's whatever, right? Don't have to worry about seeds of innocence, I guess, huh? So I should probably keep one of these grids in my hand. Maybe not though. It's worth a whole nother storm as well, so. Oh, they can force that. Interesting. How about this one? <laughs> not that one. Um, I guess I keep the I'm gonna keep the void snare. Okie doke. Well, Relay action. Get the defense in there too. All right, they scoop it up. <laughs> Game three. It's a nail biter. Um, did we show empty? We did, because we played it from our hand. If he was paying attention, I still think we're supposed to run it. Yeah. Still think one of our best shots is just dropping a, a turn one empty. So the thing about permanence against blue decks is like you can't be bringing in bounce spells because they just force it. Plus blue bounce spells are not very good against collector roof anyways. Especially since we went down to one blue land. Um, this is not going to work. Of course they're on seven every time. Um, I'm gonna keep this because Bergy is one of the keys to this matchup. Bergy is the key to most difficult matchups that we have. Playing grid. Also a wasteland deck, like <sighs> Windstorm's fine. I'm sure they're running pending too. They got a tundra. Which tells me either pending or swords. It's probably pending, but we'll see. Okay. I wonder if they even play Collector Roof there, if they have it. There's a good chance the answer to that question is no. Because they want to take us off our Bergy before they land it. But I can't imagine you're on a high number of Collector Roof itself. Like, the strength of these decks is Green Sun Zenith, so we're probably safe from from it for one more turn. Like I want to be able to horn. That was my horn there. My wasteland was brutal. Can I play Bergy and cross my fingers? The thing is I have to I have to use so many resources. I have to imprint the other Bergy. And there goes our horn. LED was actually not even the greatest draw. Could just pass. <sighs> play the Bergy. Hope they don't have swords. I'm not totally out of it if they do, too. There's plenty of action that we can draw that can get there. We do need to draw action though, and soon. We did take gambles out, which is actually quite unfortunate. This is the position where it's really bad having brought in. So 
a pendant or chrome box. Come on, echo or burning wish. It's a petal. Pending or chrome box. Feel as though there's a collector roof incoming. I don't think they have forces, otherwise they probably would have hit the grid there. There's gonna be a green sun zenith for a collector roof. Or it could be a Leo, okay, yeah. Depending on what we draw, we might just attack into it. And we can blow it up. That's pretty good. Or no, we can't. One, two, three, four. One shy of being able to blow it up. I don't think we can afford to attack into it either. All right, we got one, two, we have two floating, and we can use the opal and the petal for four, so we can do two damage to it, but that's it. If we attack into it, they probably take that trade. I don't think I want to take that trade. It's interesting, though. Very interesting. <sighs> Think I pass. Yeah. That's another thing. Like, if we don't attack, they're certainly attacking. Because <laughs> they know we're not willing to take the trade, right? We've had two draws here, though, where if we had just drawn Echo or Burning Wish, we would have been in business. So now we can threaten to kill the Leo. It draws, does draw them a card. Force of Will stops it. Relay is one of our best draws. So they don't have Green Sun Zenith. They don't have anything that can block this Bergy. Grid is in play. I guess that they like besage you into um, snake, then they don't have enough snow permanence. Yeah, we'll attack. I think I hold on to these. Draw a relay, we have a really good shot of winning. We're winning this race! <laughs> Oh, no, don't do it. What are you doing? Uh, at least we can kill that, and they just tap themselves under the grid. However, there is a Leovold in play. And now, of course, we draw the Burning Wish, which I think is actually fine, though. One, two, three. No, we're one shy doing everything that we want to do. We can kill everything. Well, they're going to draw a shit ton of cards. We attack them, they go to nine. We almost have a grape shot kill. We can just relay if we play our Shatter Skull. We can relay for five. The Bergy in play, Grid in play, Red Source in play. Oh, come on, JPA. Why are you going to make it so difficult? I think we're supposed to relay. It's probably going to result in making goblins. We're going to take three. We're at nine. We had five more coming in. All right, let's let's go for this relay. for five here come on oh. we can decide if we want to attack or not 
Monolith is not good. Fergie's not good. Burning Wish is fine. Volcanic Island is fine. Relay is fine. Hmm. We have one. We only have two mana there. We need to draw a zero. I don't think we attack. We could also have Force of Will. Like if we hit some sort of zero and they don't have Force of Will, we can Burning Wish or Void Snare, bounce the Collector Roof. They did have a Besaju. That was a really good play. This Valk is no longer in our deck. So now, now we have to draw, like Rite of Flame would be good. We have to take this. They only have one card. Shuffling my... Okay. I don't think that does it. Are we dead next turn? Yep. DT raid. Oh shit. Well, unfortunately, I think we're about to die. I don't think we have an out. We play City, we play Grim Monolith, we have one red, we have nothing. We do die next turn, no matter how we block. We can only block three power, we take the seven, we're at six. So we can't just like Volcanic pass. Volcanic doesn't do anything for us. We are daubers. That was super close. <laughs> it's all right. We're gonna win out the rest of it. But let's go here. So who are you? And what is this? Okay. This is looking to be a bit all in. <laughs> Just a bit. Uh, S C H I A V E T O. Tournament finishes. Looks like Doomsday. Is it Delver? Uh, looks like Doomsday. So we probably shouldn't go all in. We do have this double grid. If we draw some. As much as I hate doing this, I think I'm going to keep it and pass. So we can see what they're up to. Might play one LED out. So we do have discard, right? We do have six soul lands in our deck for these grids. Or if we draw another Echo, or any red source also allows us to write a flame into grid. Opal, Opal, Petal, Chrome Mox, Soul Land, Spirit Guide, Shatter Skull, Echo. These are all good draws. That is certainly above half of our deck. I think I'm going to play these out. There's a lot more discard these days than pending. Or discard and chalice together. For a while it was the other way around. I just held them. Especially it seems like there's a good chance they're on Doomsday. Which is a tough matchup. Not up there with the most difficult, but certainly not easy. I'd say the blue, you know, Karn, Force of Will, Old Breacher, Narset, <laughs> deck is the worst. And then 
Second worst is probably the matchup that we just played against. Four color Zenith. If they randomly counter one of these, then I think I will go off. Or attempt to, rather. Now, could we just draw a bunch of three drops a few turns in a row? Yeah. It might happen. It looks more likely it's Delver. So now we're actually looking pretty good. We have a permanent mana source that's probably not going to get touched. If they daze it, I'm not going to pay for it. We could go here, but there's no pressure. And we have another grid. We have one permanent mana source, so we just need to find one more. Preferably this turn. <laughs> so that they don't wind up with three mana. Okay, good. Still no threat. No threat. If I get a soul land, I play around days quite well. Or even just overmaster at this point is great. Oh, man. oh no, wrong button. Okay, I don't think I hit it. <laughs> we do have six soul lands, so. And of course, they have another force, so at this point, I'm gonna go. Are we gonna go all the way? Yes, yes, we are. So you have three, four, five, six mana. Gamble for LED is very risky. I'd sooner rather gamble for Relay. I think I want to get this Monolith out there first. Because it cuts off your own colors. And if you start using your colors, then you can't really utilize it. Like if they want a Monolith, gamble for Relay. Hopefully it hits. 3, 4, 5, 6. If we have one more, we could go Grid into Wish Relay. So I'm going to go Monolith. Do I want to cast the mana first? I think I do. If I gamble for Relay, I'm going to really want to put a grid in front first. If I write a flame first, it's a 1 in 5. I still have an 80% chance to hit the Relay. And if I don't, not all is lost. Like I can just play grids and then next turn get there with Burning Wish. I didn't counter that. Am I counting this wrong? No. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And now we can go grid. If they force it, it's whatever. If they don't, it's pretty good. <laughs> All right, that's a wheel plus one. So three o. Oh into three two so if we if we win the next two i think we're live for top eight but maybe not like winning, winning the first three really helps our breakers but i'm not sure if it's good enough so we just have a peer here we have a peer here go right ahead and play berg play the cads we probably just have enough to tendrils them right Play out all the stuff. Literally all of it, why not? Including the monkey. Make some black. And get them. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Easy game. All right. Now we smack him around with some gobos. Uh, well, let's do it. I've been bringing in all four and liking it the past couple of weeks. It's the best way to beat Delver. Well, to be fair, we have a lot of ways to beat Delver. Um, sure. This is 
close. Soul land? Oh. Why are they F6ing? That's fine. Ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore the F6ing. Eight goblins is usually going to do it, even on the draw. Could they have one of their sweepers? Sure. Might they find it since they have a Darcy in play? Sure. Is this still the best chance? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Shredder? Interesting. So we attack first, right? So if they plan on blocking with this, I want them to do that before they get triggers. Because I want to play this grid. They are blocking. They take six. They go to 11. Here's the thing. Even if you don't... And they're F6. Okay. Like, what? What is in your hand? Even if you don't get there with the goblins, you put them to a really low life total. And now when they're cantripping, they're not looking for forces anymore. They're shuffling forces away to find their sweeper. And then, even if they wind up sweeping you... You can still oftentimes win right over the top. Another cantrip. No. Okay. Can they make it a 3-3? Three, three? Wasting a pyroblast. And they didn't get there with it. They're going to attack? No. <laughs> three, four, five. So we're one shy of echoing. And now they are pretty much forced to block with this Darcy. They only have two cards in hand. And they're at six. Three, two, one. If they don't put anything else, and they are, they're playing a dragon. That's okay. We're probably just going to echo and kill them. We get that defense up. One, two, three, four, five. So they take two from the Gabos, and then one, two, three, four from Grape Shot. Easy enough. Shred your heart out. <laughs> Shred your face off. Okay, for four. And two more. Easy game. All right, four and two. So last they were playing Doomsday, but I gotta imagine they're probably on high tide. Um, not the greatest hand, but I'll take it. I really don't how I don't like how I can't flip my cards around. Does that fix it? Does not. Come on. So hopefully we draw grid. Um, Overmaster isn't yet helpful. But it wouldn't be terrible once upon a time. Interesting. What are you doing, Marcus? They playing elves? There's an overmaster. I wonder if we're about to get wrecked by collector roof. We have two, three, four, five mana. We could go for an echo line. I think I'm supposed to. I think I'm supposed to ignore Grim Monolith. Petal, Rite of Flame, Burning Wish, get Gamble. Try to Gamble. And give us a 75% chance to Echo with Petal, Rite of Flame, to get uh, one f blue floating post Echo. We can relay, but it's not very good. It's not a very good relay. Could just monolith pass. Hope they don't have collector roof. 
but I don't think that's good enough. We could give ourselves a two-thirds chance instead of three out of four and play the Grim Monolith. Do we want two-thirds chance with two floating post-echo, or do we want 75% chance with one floating? I think we have a better chance of winning overall, actually, if we play this. We miss, we miss. Got him. Dude, never didn't have it, right? Never. Oh. And we got him. <laughs> um, with plenty of backup. Go like this, tap this for red, go black, get him with the turn one. Alright, obviously it's not a hundred percent that it's elves, but it is most likely elves. So do you have to worry about ley line quite often? Uh, discard and force of vigor. Some amount of mind break trap. But I think I actually usually just go echoing truth, save the void snare for the sideboard, keep in some amount of grid. Call it a day. His hand is excellent. They go to six, so we kind of wanted to see Ley Line. We don't want to see Discard. All right, nice. We might just have a trap. Whoa. All right, so we're one shy of double. Two, three, four, five. Seem to be F6. I think I'm going to overmaster for Storm. Relay for four. It's a Bergy. That's pretty good. Hopefully no collector, but we can get out of it. We can get out of an oof. Hmm. This could be discard. Could be guy's cradle. It's not discard. Make one, untap one of them, return Bayou, play Bayou, Symbiote, interesting. They had a Cradle, uh-oh, and a Collect Truth, okay. Oh man, that was good. Are we one shy? Should we go Bergy? No, we're not, we have Simeon. So we go Bergy, and then we go one, two, we have three, Burning Wish, three, four, two. I think we're going to be one shy of what we really want to do, but we get to wipe a lot of their board. You know what, I think we're, I think we're going to be fine, actually. I think we get to Echo. We'll have four or five. Yeah, we'll have just enough to wind up echoing. This is going to be sweet. Ready? Um, 
So it's going to be for five. They can't bounce that, so that's fine. We don't want to start with... So you can bounce one of these elves. One of the elves. We can do five, so we just... Leave them with Nettle Sentinel. It's the least functional. So we want to start with the Symbiote in case they miss that they have to bounce stuff. They probably saved their Aquarian or Birchlore? Birchlore. No, Aquarian. Okay. That goes down. Loop goes down. That goes down. This doesn't do anything. Then we get to Wish. Then we cast Gamble from our sideboard. Then we cast Echo from our graveyard. And hopefully get there. Looks like we got there. No land drop. Can't horn. But we do have double echoes to threaten. Shouldn't have played that yet. Should have played opal first. What's done is done. It's all good. Okay. Don't have to tap opal. Let's make blue. Cast one. Resolves. Wheel again. And we whiff quite unfortunate okay do you want to play anything no yikes <laughs> so we're probably dead but we have game three on the play a very good matchup <laughs> what do you got that's scary. No heritage. Land drop already. Okay, there it is. Uh oh. Shepherd is fine. Symbiote. It's just a bunch of nothing elves, and then we draw action. I should have played out an LED so that we could play peer through a uh, trap. Like, 100% should have done that. Force of Vigors, whatever, right? Special order. Is it enough to. That's enough, right? It's gotta be enough. 19. That's 16 coming in. Another natural order. Oh, we didn't have action coming. Two draws away. Okay. Yeah, let's run it back. Wow. <laughs> Guess the only problem is trap. But we're not going to shy away. So if we go Bergy, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and Burning Wish. Yeah, it's exactly Bergy into Pier. Looks like they're F6. Maybe not, though. Might be getting trapped. Hey, got him. <laughs> and that's the ball game. Play grid. Stop any sort of shenanigans. Marcus. Oh, shoot. Nice line. Here I am keeping thought seas into oof. Get some black sources. Uh, nope. That's all right. We'll just go up to grape shot. 
Get him with the shots. Match one ant, match two Tess. <laughs> All right, we got there with the 5-2. It's not bad. I'll take it. I don't think we're live for top eight, but we'll play some cubes, stick around, and see what's up. So my guess is we are in 10th, 15th. 